open master cam click on file open select the part and this is the part in the folder and you can see that this particular part or bracket cannot be finished in any one of the setup any one setup it has to go for multiple setup before it get finished fully so the knowledge of WCS will help you to define all those settings so before start creating the WCS I request you to click on settings go to configuration click on screen and check this box display WCS XYZ axis and click OK so if you don't use this option you won't understand where the, the, uh, the WCS is placed and in which direction is your tool axis it's very hard to imagine so once you once it's visible in the screen you click on WCS we have um, few standard options of uh, creating WCS we have top front back bottom right left and isometric these all are the standard WCS that can be created the main thing is if you opt for any one of it you can see that the origin is not moved, moved only the X Y and Z axis is getting changed so based on your design requirement you can up for any of the standard WCS next is to create a new WCS we'll start with dynamic as WCS click on that and you have to locate the nomen in any one of the first you have to place the locate the origin of the nomen and I'm going to set WCS here on center of the circle I place there and now I want to define which is my X Y and Z direction Z direction I'm going to Z axis will be facing in this direction and it will go for 90 once you're happy with the X Y Z direction uh, and click OK the new WCS is formed here so you can use this WCS to mission this particular profile or you can use to define the tool plane as well so next is WCS based on geometry click that and the first entity that you select will define the X axis and the second entity will define the y-axis based on these two perpendicular lines there are eight options to create um, a WCS and you can check all those eight options by clicking next plane or previous plane and whichever suits you you can click OK and automatically uh, we have to name this particular uh, plane and click OK next is rotate WCS or uh, WCS by solid face here I'm going to select this plane so uh, the center point of this plane is where a new WCS is created and we have again eight options here you can opt for any one of it and click OK rotate WCS here we are going to just rotate the existing WCS in any one of the axis next is last if you want to opt for a previous WCS you can always recall it and WCS by normal here a WCS plane is created 
just by uh, defining the uh, selecting a line and it, uh, automatically Z axis will be falling on it and the perpendicular plane will be considered as X and Y dire uh, di uh, directions here again there are eight options you can opt for any one of it next is uh, now we have seen WCS if you want to create construction plane go to click on planes and opt for any of the standard planes or you can we have learned how to create a plane you can use those methods that is dynamic planes geometry solid phase to create any one of the construction plane so I'm going to opt for uh, top and you can see that when I define the uh, the construction plane and tool plane is set in that particular direction and when I click on and WCS and I opt for my WCS is equivalent to the construction plane you can see that the location doesn't change but the direction of all the axis remains the same with it is equivalent to the the construction plane and the tool plane now when I opt for uh, I go to view and when I click any one of the standard views and I say that my WCS is going to be the is equivalent to the view existing so now we can see that the Z axis of the give view as well as the WCS remains the same next is tool plane tool plane is same as the construction plane in next session I'll be explaining you about the plane manager and the different settings that we different work of set setting that is used to define more number of settings in uh, CNC machines.